One of the biggest complaints I get on my YouTube channel is from you guys having frustrations trying to edit Instagram Reels in Instagram. The app breaks down or you don't have the features that you want. In this video, I'm gonna show you an alternate video editing app that you can use for your Reels. Hi, I'm Wonderful Ida, an educational video producer based in Vancouver, Canada. I teach you how to film yourself so you can film once to teach many. If you want to leverage your expertise to make money, then make sure to subscribe to my channel because I have new videos every Wednesday. So this fun new app to use is called CapCut. So you can see it's here on my desktop. That's what the app looks like. When I click into it, it's going to take me right here. Here you can see some of the edits that I've already done. So you can see my projects it has new projects, short projects, shortcuts and templates. So to keep this simple, let's just start a new project. So I'm gonna to go to new project and I'm not gonna make this complicated. I'm just going to add a couple clips. So I'm really into roller skating right now. So I'm gonna add a couple of roller skating clips. So I'm gonna scroll back. I can click on a video so that I can preview it. There we go, that's fun. So if I want to add it, I have two options. I can either just press add on the bottom, or if I want to add it with multiple clips, I can press that circle on top and it's going to allow me to add this one and more clips. So let's add this one and let's add one more. I can just preview that. There we go. So I can go back, I can preview any of them without selecting, and you can see here at the bottom, it's going to show me which clips I'm adding. So I have just those two clips, and I'm gonna press add. When I add the clips, it's going to bring me into here, and here is the amazing video editor. First thing I can do is I can click and change the resolution. With this, I suggest not making the resolution higher than you filmed in. I filmed in this in 4K on my phone, so I can go up to 4K if I'd like. However, if you're filming non 4K footage, you don't wanna put it up to 4K because it's not going to look as crisp. You gotta think of the output of what you're gonna be using this content for. I'm just gonna be posting this on Instagram and it's going to be small only for a phone, so I don't really need the highest resolution, so I'm just gonna go back down to 180. For frame rate, you don't want to change the frame rate from what you filmed, because what it's going to do is it's gonna look super choppy. So I suggest whatever you filmed it in, just leave it on that. Okay, so we're gonna go back up, so we have 1080. Now here at the bottom, the big square in the middle is your preview. So you can see as I move my video clip, my preview is just going to stay there. There we go, so I got me roller skating. On the bottom here, you can see the play button. This allows me to play it. You can see this button, which allows me to full screen it, so I can preview it full screened. And then you're gonna see these arrows here, which allow me to go back and forward. So say for example, I added a sticker, I added it right there, but I no longer want that. I can use the back button to get rid of it, or I can always use the forward button to add that back on. So let's get rid of that. And then you can see here in the middle, that is your timeline. So you can select clips. And then you can see this last clip right here at the end. This is just CapCut's logo. It automatically adds its logo to the end of all your clips. And if you don't wanna include that, you can just click on it and then select delete and it's not going to be in there. So now I can see these are my video clips. I can click on a video clip and then I can trim it so I can adjust. So say I want to stop there. I can click on whichever clip I'm adjusting. I can make this a little bit shorter because so this is like 14 seconds. So let's go to the end of it. I'm just gonna add, delete that cap cut. Let's go to the end of it, click on that. As I adjust it, as I move that back cursor, um, the time, the duration time is going to change on this clip. So I can see how long it's going to be on there for, but I can also preview it. Okay, so I have these two clips. But say I want to add my roller skating, so me roller skating 
in between this first clip, have some me roller skating and it's gonna go back to that clip. So what I can do is I can make cuts, so splits within that footage. So I'm just gonna put my cursor to where I want it and then so I'm gonna select the clip, so make sure that it has the whiteboard around it and I'm gonna go split. It's gonna make a cut exactly where I put that and now I can push down and I'm gonna see these go into small boxes. So once you see the boxes, I can just drag my clip. So it's going to be, let's play that. So it's gonna be them dancing, me roller skating. Let's make this one a little shorter. So let's just drag that end part, click on it, and adjust that end. So that's too long. There we go, I can move my cursor. So me roller skating, and then them still dancing. And you can also edit this video. So let's go down to the customization here at the bottom. Up here you can change your cover, and then you also have the mute clip audio option. So you can turn the sound off if you don't want the sound on it, or you can leave the sound on. Now, here at the bottom, is where you have all your adjustments for your video. So first one is edit. So when I press edit, this allows me to edit this clip itself. So you can see I have so many options of things to do. I can change the speed. So if I click on speed, I can have it like a normal curve, which means like it's gonna increase or decrease steadily, or I can have it a curve, so it's gonna go do you see that? So it like started, let's play that again. And then it sped it up. So let's add a curve to this one too. Oh, that one, that curve was boring. And then let's add a curve to this one. It's gonna look ridiculous. Okay, let's preview this. That is interesting. Let's get rid of that. So remember we have our back button. We can go back and just normal speed that. So back into the edit, we can adjust the volume. Animation. Animation allows us to do different things with the clip as it goes in and out. So in means at the beginning of the clip and out means at the end of the clip. So I can shake it. I can do a vertical, you can see that vertical spin, I can make it spin. So these are all these fun options that you can do. And then you can see at the bottom it has the duration of it. So I can increase how long it's going to do it for. I can make it shorter, longer, and it's gonna say in at the bottom, that means my animation in. So I can do my animation out as well. This is fun for, let's see, do a combo. Well, that looks cool. So this is fun for when you want to make your videos more engaging, add some more life between clips. And let's preview that. So I'm gonna move my cursor to the beginning of that, preview it. Back into edit. I can delete the clip. Okay, then we have remove background which is awesome because you can actually remove yourself from the background, which is really cool. So there's a bunch of different things that you can do in here. You can extract your audio if you just wanna have the audio of a clip. You can also add filters. There's a bunch of filters that they have available here. So these are preset filters. Or you can just go in and adjust the clip yourself. So you can see when I press adjust, this gives me full control of that video clip. So I can adjust the brightness, so I can click on brightness, I can increase the brightness, I can work with the contrast, I can add saturation. So it's like most photo and video editing options are available right there and you can adjust each clip separately or you can apply to all clips by just clicking that at the bottom. There we go, so we made a little bit of an adjustment there's more, seriously, there's more. You can mask things, meaning you can have one thing showing in one video, not showing in another video. You can add video clips on top of it. Uh, you can reverse it, you can freeze frame. There's so many options in here. I'm 
Not gonna try to overcomplicate this, so let's just keep it nice and simple. And let's go back to our main menu. So in edit, it allows you to edit that particular clip and you can make it look amazing. And then once it's in this, it allows you to edit more so for the entire timeline. So I can add audio, there's sound, sound effects, so sounds. I can sync this to my TikTok and it's going to show me all my saved TikTok sounds right in there. So I have that synced and I can add them. Let's go back at a sound. You can add text templates. So this is really cool because these are texts that are already animated that you can add. So say for example, I like this one. I can go in and I can change what it says. Let's say roller skating, roller skate club. That's where I go roller skating, enter that. And it's going to, let's say, okay. So now I can see how it's going to do. So you can see that text is gonna come in like that and I can preview it. So cool. So I can change that duration of the text to wherever I want it. So if I want it to appear for the entire duration of the video, let's delete that one again. There we go. Let's go back. I can do smart text so I can see in here it says I can add my text. So I'm going to add my name. I can change the style of it. I can add effects to that. I can add outlines to it, so bubbles to it to make it look different. Well, that's cool. And then I can add animation to it. And the cool part about this is it allows you to do in and outs as well or loops. So an in means how you're, it's gonna animate, how it's gonna come to be. And I can change how long that in animation is gonna be by just moving the cursor on the bottom here and then out the same thing. I can add an out effect and then I can change C so you can see the in is blue and the out is red. So I know that my text is only gonna be solid during that middle part and it's going to animate in, stay, and then animate out. And then I can even loop it. So say I, I just want the effect to keep happening for the entire video so I can just press a loop and it's going to allow me to do all these effects. So there's my text there. When I go back, I can trim, I can click on it with the white borders. I can move it wherever I want it. I can make it bigger, smaller. I can duplicate it. Just pressing the duplicate button. I can change the duration of it. I can even go back in, clicking on it, and edit what it says. There we go. And so I can create, like say for example, you want your text to all look the same, animate the same, but you want it to say different things, you can easily duplicate it and do that. And then you can change the duration by just adjusting how long it's going to be on there for. So this is really cool because it has so many capabilities just for text alone that most apps don't have. And it has the templates, which is really cool. You just have to play around with it. Let's get out of text. Just some other things, you have stickers, overlay. What an overlay is, is that means it's a clip that you can put on top of it. So say, for example, I love this video and I created a video of me talking about this video and I wanna add myself on top of this. So to do this, I want to go into overlay, but before I add the overlay, I first gotta figure out where I want to add my clips. So I put my cursor to where I wanna add it. Say I wanna add it at the beginning. I'm gonna go to overlay, add overlay. Here's a video clip of me. Let's mute that one. And then I'm gonna click on that clip. So I know it's selected when I click on it and I'm gonna remove background. My background's already gone. I can move myself around. You can see I can play it. So I'm gonna click on that and let's get, let's get the volume. Let's get rid of that volume. And then I can trim it so that they end at the same time. 
There we go. So that's really cool because you can add multiple layers on top of it and it automatically green screens it, which the ba remove background feature alone is so awesome. And then effects, so effects allows you to add video effects or body effects. So body effects are going to be special things to you. So you can see it added the tiger effects. If I don't like that, I can just click on that, delete it, or let's go back. Video effects. So this is going to allow me to add video effects to it. So say I want to do a fisheye look on it. It's going to add the effect to the entire video clip. But say I want to trim it so it's only going to appear in that certain part. I can adjust where that effect is going to appear, which is really cool because with reels, you can't really add effects to particular parts in the video. You can just add effects to the entire video. So this allows you to do it really easily. And then let's go back in there. And then you can also change the format of this. So I can zoom in and out or I can change my canvas size by selecting different canvases and then I can zoom in and out so that they match that canvas size. And I can still adjust my clips on top of that. So this allows me to adjust the entire video clips on top of it. That is a lot of information to take at once. I just wanted to show you a quick overview of what this app is capable of doing. And in my upcoming videos, I'm gonna show you specific things that you can do with this amazing app because, oh my God, I am so sick of reels, just dying when I'm trying to edit them. And I'm so happy that I can have an app now that allows me to do so much and it's free. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or better yet, leave me a comment below. New videos out each and every week. Until next time, 